Hey guys, today I'm sharing with you my top five favorite card games. So the holidays are coming up, so I'm sure a lot of you guys are going out to see family, maybe even some friends. So these will be some really great card games you can play while you're with them. Obviously, in my 15 years of existence, I don't know every single card game out there. I haven't even played a quarter of them out there, but I know a few and these are just the games that I really enjoy playing and I'm sure you guys may enjoy playing them too. If you don't, that's fine. And if you have any other card games uh, that you think I should learn, be sure to comment them down below. And also, I'll go over each of these five games in a brief explanation, but there will also be a full in-depth instruction tutorial whatever in the description box below. Finally, yes, I know Rise Magic has two of these videos already out there with thousands of views, but I promise you my list is different and you also get just like a different video experience because of my filming, and my editing, although that may not help my case because Rise Magic is better at both of those than I am. And also I don't have any friends to film with me. But anyway, starting with five, number five, and that is Spoons. Rise Magic already mentioned this, but I'm mentioning it again because I think it's that fun of a game. So basically the goal of the game is to get four of a kind and then you have to grab a spoon. So I'm using this little red bird as an example. The first person to get four of a kind can get the first spoon or whatever object you are using. Everyone else needs to be paying attention to this and they can grab a spoon as well. Now there needs to be one less spoon than the amount of people playing because whoever doesn't have a spoon is out. Get out of here or just they're out of the game for now. And then you move on to the next round. Take away one of the spoons so there's one less than the amount of people playing again. You go through it again, draw cards, try and get four of a kind, grab a spoon if you get a four of a kind, or whoever gets four of a kind, grab the spoon, and then you go along with them and try and grab a spoon. This game is really fast paced, especially when you're trying to reach and grab a spoon as quickly as you can. And that, in my opinion, is what makes it fun. And it's also pretty easy because all you have to do is get a four of a kind. At number four is BS, also known as Cheat, Bull Shark, or I Doubt It. Never heard it be called I Doubt It until I looked it up. But basically, this game is just about lying. So what you're trying to do is get rid of all of your cards. You deal out the whole entire deck evenly to each person playing and to start, someone needs to lay down the ace of spades. And then once the first person lays down their ace of spades, the person to their left starts the actual game by laying a two face down. Now they can lay down however many twos they want. Obviously, you can lay up to four. So if they have one two, they're going to put down one two and say one two. If they have two twos, they're going to place down both of their twos and say two twos. If they have three twos, they say three twos, put them all down. Four twos, put them all down. Let's say they don't have a two. Well, this is where the line comes in. Then they have to take literally any other card that they want to, place it down and just pretend that it's a two. So again, depending on how many cards they put down, they say that number first. So like three twos, but in reality, let's say they put down three sevens instead. One four. Well, it's up to the other players to call BS. If they call BS and they were right, one four. that person was lying, then the person who was lying gets all the cards. If someone calls one BS on somebody, but BS. that somebody was not lying, then whoever called BS gets all the cards. This game is really deceptive and Really interesting to see if they are able to keep a poker face. Also, I would not recommend wearing reflective glasses because of course that will give away the cards you are placing down. But if you are watching someone in their glasses, 
place down the wrong card. Easy. One five. What? You just put down the most obvious nine. B S. One nine. But yeah, that's card game number four. Oh, shark. The next card game at number three is speed. Now this one requires just a little bit more setup. You have to have two cards in the middle, and then I like to have at least five cards off to the sides, and I'll explain why in a second. Two cards in the middle and a pile of five cards on each side of it, and then you deal out the rest of the deck to however many people are playing. I like to have two, it makes it less chaotic while still being very fast paced and intense and fun but you can play with three people four people it just makes it harder to win that's for sure but anyway with the two cards in the middle you can place a card higher or lower than those cards if the card in the middle is a three for example you can place down a four or a two let's say you place down a four now you can place down another three or a five and then you just go up and down. Now each player can only have five cards in their hand at a time. And once they place down a card, they can draw another card from their pile. Now let's say neither of you can play. You all don't have a card that's higher or lower than the two cards in the middle. That's where the cards on the sides come in. So each of you take the top card, turn it over, and then play from there, higher or lower once again. Now, obviously, as the name says, speed, it's really fun, really fast paced, not too dip, not, not very complicated in my opinion to play. You just gotta do higher or lower. So yeah, that's speed. Oh, also, the reason why it's called speed is because one, it's fast in general, and two, you gotta beat the other person to play your higher or lower card. Because if they get it before you, then you can't place that card. For example, if there's the three again, you both have fours, only one of you can place down that four at a time. So be quick. Number two is almost number one for me, but I can't quite put it there because I haven't played it in a while and not everyone knows how to play. But the name of the game is Mal. Now, I actually can't explain the rules of how to play Mal because it's against the rules. But yeah, it's basically Silent Uno and a prank. And it's a prank because if only one person knows how to play, then everyone else is just confused. That's the fun part. I first discovered this game whenever I was in sixth grade. My classmates wanted to play it. When we started playing it, I was so confused as to what was going on. The game of Mal has officially begun. Wait, so how do I play? Talking. Wait, what? Still talking. Failure so just said, have a nice day. Have a nice day. Mal. All hail the chairman of the board. I'm so confused. But you basically learn by playing the game or by clicking the link in the description box below because one person actually does have to know how to play Mal to play the game and to help everyone else playing it. But yeah, again, Mal, basically Silent Uno where you're trying to get rid of all your cards. If you talk, you get a card. If you don't say something when you should, you get a card. Basically, if you do something wrong, you get a card and you're trying to get rid of all your cards that's where the prank comes in because you don't know entirely what you are supposed to be doing. That might have been a terrible explanation. I, I do like that game. It is really fun. Anyway, at number one, we have Solitaire. Why? Because it only requires one person. And you can play it on the internet or with an actual deck of cards. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was kind of a lame animation, Google.
I actually did win solitaire, but I wasn't recording and I don't feel like playing it again. It's one of the most iconic games out there. Of course it has to be number one. Just kidding guys, solitaire is not number one. And also sometimes it's actually impossible to win. So that's not very fun. Or I don't find that very fun when you can't win. So the real number one is Egyptian Rat Screw, also known as ERS. And what's really fun about this game is that you can slap. No, you can't slap your opponents. That's not what you're slapping. But you slap on certain card combinations. So basically you deal out the entire deck to everyone without looking at the cards. Each person takes turn to turn a card over and place it down in the center. The slapping comes in at certain card combinations like doubles, sandwiches, marriages, runs. Sandwich would be like a two, a five, another two. A marriage is just kings and queens on top of one another. Runs are numbers in order like five, six, seven, or seven, six, five. And furthermore, if you place on a face card, the person next to you has to match that face card with another face card. So if you lay down a jack, that person has one chance to get another face card. If you lay down a queen, that person has two chances to get another face card. If you lay down a king, that person has three chances to get another face card. And if you lay down an ace, that person has four chances to get another face card. If they don't place down a face card, you who placed down or whoever placed down the face up card gets the entire pile of cards. The goal of the game is to get the entire deck. And if you slap when you shouldn't slap, then you have to burn a card or discard a card. Now, if you run out of cards, then you're out of the game. Now, the way I play, at least, sometimes we let someone else slap back in and then they can get their cards back. It is really fun, sometimes a little violent if you slap too hard. Yeah, that's, that's ERS. Okay guys, that was my top five. Five being spoons, four being BS, three being speed, two being now, and one being ERS. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, goodbye. This game is really fast paced and sometimes intense. Just it, that's what makes it fun though. Dang it, bro. You can place a card higher or lower than those cards. So let's say there's a three in the middle. You can place a four or a five. Let's say you place down a five or someone else places down a five. You can now place. Did I just say a four? No. But what I can tell you is that it's basically Silent Uno. What was it? They don't know how to play, but if you know how to play, then you just be calling like all the shots. I just said that's so weird. Please don't ever say that again. <laughs> Add this to the bloopers. Or by Googling it down in the description box below. Okay guys, so that was the top five. To recap, it was spoons, and I forgot my list. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that was the top five. Number five again, to recap, spoons, four, BS, three, speed, Failure to say, have a nice day.